We are going to draw Peter from Family Guy and Donna from The Cleveland Show. Please feel free to stop and pause this anytime you need to. You're going to start by drawing a large arch for his head that's going to come down and be flat at the bottom. His left arm is going to be on his hip, so you're going to draw an oval going towards the left bottom corner and then an oval going towards the right bottom corner. His stomach is a large circle and his right arm you're going to do an oval going to the bottom right corner and then towards the left and then a small curve that goes up and around for his wrist. For his legs you're going to do a smaller half circle and then below that you're going to draw what looks like a rectangle underneath in the center of that circle and then a line that comes straight down the middle and his shoes are going to be two large ovals. Now that we have the shape of his body we're going to work on Donna. So on the right hand side you're going to draw an oval which is a circle that's been elongated. It's skinny and then for her, her um, neck you're going to do two little lines and a curve underneath a line going horizontal across underneath that for her shoulders and then a square that curves down underneath that you're going to draw a smaller box underneath so it kind of looks like a snowman and then two lines that come down at an angle to the bottom with a line at the center underneath and two shoes that are like flat uh, ovals on the right hand side you're going to do a long oval for the arm and then for where the hand would be same thing on the other side now we're gonna work on our details for Peter for his face so to begin with we are going to draw circles for the eyes they are smaller circles and they are separated by some distance His nose almost looks like the bottom part of an S on the right hand eye, so it's going to curve around like it looks like a big old S. Below the nose you're going to do a little line that's going to curve all the way back towards the left eye very closely like a smile. A secondary line is going to go down at a diagonal towards the right and curve back in and then down towards the left and you're going to make a curve that goes right underneath that and a secondary curve almost like a backwards elongated three. His cheek is going to start from the right eye, it's going to go out horizontally a little ways and then down towards the bottom of your paper. The other side is pretty straight down and then from the right eye you're going to go up and around to finish off the top of his head. You're going to cut off the tops of the circles for his eyes, those are like his eyelids there, and little dots inside of those circles for his eyes. You're going to connect those two circles with a little line because he's wearing glasses and a small C on the opposite side of his left eye for his ear with a little line that comes through. For his hair you're going to do a sideburn so it comes down towards the center, goes back up across his head and it's going to be like a wave coming all the way back around to where his ear is.
Now finish the glasses by drawing a line to the ear from the eyes. We're gonna work on his shirt. So you're going to draw a line that goes in towards the center of his face, comes down towards the bottom of the paper, it goes back up and out towards the left. And it looks like a big M in the center of his neck. On the outside of his head, you're gonna bring a line that curves all the way around to meet the outside edge of that M and do the same thing on the other side, the bottom of that M all the way to the outside of his head. Draw a line that curves around a circle for the part of his shirt. Then on the left side, we're gonna define his shirt a little bit more. He's wearing short sleeves. So that oval that you made for the first part of his arm. For his sleeve, he has rolled up shirt sleeves. So you're gonna come in a little ways and draw a secondary line. His large forearm so you're gonna outline the big oval that we made for his hand on his wrist you're going to draw his first finger that comes out from the wrist then you're going to draw three curves so it looks like an M and then one more curve next to that underneath that you're going to do the same thing to show the knuckles of his hand for the rest of his shirt you are going to continue around the curve line that we made for the circle of his stomach it's going to go up into the center where our line for the center of his shirt came down. So it looks like a big um, upside down M. And then it's going to go around the side of his stomach on the right. To finish off the side on the right, you're going to go a straight line down at the bottom of the right collar. And then curve it all the way around to meet the bottom of his shirt. On the right side, we're going to finish the arm. So at the collar on the right side, you're going to do a line that goes down towards the right corner curve back in to the shirt. The shirt sleeve is rolled up, so you're going to do another line that continues down towards the right corner. And then it is going to curve back in again towards the stomach, the center of the character. For the forearm, you are going to outline the oval that we made coming in towards the stomach. Make a C shape. and then go back in around towards the stomach so it looks like his hand is on his hip and his fingers are behind it. Under the large W that we made in, for his shirt, you're going to draw an oval for his belt buckle. Down the line that we made for his shirt, you're gonna draw little circles to represent buttons. Finishing off the top of his pants, you're going to curve around by his wrist, do two lines that are close together for belt loops on the left side, same thing on the right side, two little lines close together, and then you're going to connect the bottom part of those lines all the way across his pants. Just don't put the line underneath those two lines that we made. Another line on the right hand side curving down. His legs are straight down like a square or a rectangle, and then another line straight down the center, and his shoes are two ovals, which you can't really see me doing right now, but I promise that is what I'm doing. And if I zoom out, you will be able to see. We are going to draw Donna now, so we're going to do a circle for the eye on the left-hand side, and then the nose looks like it is a backwards J coming from that eye or it could look like an L just with a curved bottom right there. The second eye is some space away from the nose. They're not touching the two eyes. So you're gonna do another circle right there. Her cheek on the left hand side is gonna come from the bottom left corner of the eye and it's going to curve around and come down at an angle toward the right corner of your paper. Her eye also has an eyelid like Peter's, so you're gonna cut off the top of 
the circle where her eyes are to show her eyelids. You're going to draw her left eyebrow above that eye and then from the eye you're going to go straight up and curve it around the oval that we started off in the beginning making her hairline. Now we're going to work on the mouth. So you're going to draw a line that goes up and towards the right side a little bit more than the left and draw a little line on the corner. On top of that line you're going to draw an M shape. A really round M shape that sits right on the top of there and then the bottom has a curved line that curves all the way corner to corner underneath the mouth you're going to draw a chin that curves back up and close to the face Underneath the chin, you're going to draw a line that comes vertically straight down and on the right side a little bit farther for the neck, curving out to the side and a circle because she's wearing earrings. Then you are going to make sure that you do the little dots inside of the eyes. It's going to be right underneath the um, line we did to cut off the tops of the eyes. For her hair, you're going to curve the line next to the right eye. It goes right on top of the earring. And to the center of the hair, it's going to curve down and around up like a big U shape. That's a wave kind of, and it's touching the top of her right eye. That line is going to curve back up towards the left side above the hairline that she has. A secondary line is going to go right where we just left off, curve around and to the right, and then you are going to go up into the right corner, come back down, and then up into the right corner and come back down to complete the little waves of her hair. From the bottom of the larger wave that we just made for her hair, you are going to make a U shape and then you are going to curve that line all the way back into the left hand side underneath the earring to about where the neck is. On the left hand side from where we started from the wave of the hair, you are going to do a small curve that's close to the face, comes in towards the eye, and then a U shape that goes out towards the left and curves back in towards the cheek of the face. The neckline of her shirt is going to be a curved U shape all the way around. It's going to go past the neck and back around to show kind of the back of her neck there. Then we're going to work on her chest. So you're going to come down towards the left corner, curve it all the way around to the right. On the right hand side, you're going to do another curved line that goes up towards where her arm would be go towards the right hand side to finish off her shirt. You're going to bring the arm down following the ovals we already made and then you're going to curve the shoulder on the other side. It goes right around behind the curve we did for her chest and then in a little ways and out so it looks like she has a waist. Curve that around. It's going to come out behind the hand that we are making right now curving around the ovals we already made. Her hands look like the fingers are behind the hand. The waist again goes out behind her arm and back out again. You're going to take that curve for her pants and bring it back in towards the hand. On the other side, you are going to follow the lines that we already made for the legs. Continue that down. Finish off the arm on the left hand side. You can just see the side of the arm. You're not going to see a bunch of details for the fingers. Continuing on the right side from the curve, you're going to bring that line down for the legs. To separate the pants, you are going to draw a line that goes up towards the left corner and then it comes straight down to meet the center of the legs. We're going to do the right foot first and it's going to come down at an angle towards the left, curve back around to the pants and then finishing off the shoe you're going to do a secondary line that comes right around the back 
and connects. And then the other shoe you can see, it's a little bit behind the first shoe, so you're just doing a line that goes around towards the left bottom corner and curve back. Now all you have to do is outline your character in ink, erase all the extra pencil lines, and color in your characters. Please feel free to go back in and pause this and retry it on your own.